Hey everyone, it's Amy with Dragonspit Apothecary, and welcome to Easter weekend. That's pretty cool. So we're going to do a special oil oracle card um, reading. Well, actually it's our normal oil oracle card reading, but I think you're going to find some really inspirational content in our cards this week. Um, so as always, I've pulled three cards, and we'll talk about what each of them are and how you can receive support, um, support from them. As always, if you have questions, feel free to leave me a message. Um, and please follow me on social media and YouTube, and you'll find us everywhere. Um, just really about helping you live more naturally and providing you with resources and tools to help make those make that possible. Um, and you know, support you in any way we can to make that happen. So really excited to do that. This is just one of those fun things that we do that. It's also insightful, educational, and something different, right? So, three cards. The first one is what we need this uh, weekend. Second card, what we need next week. And then a third card, um, which is a card from the universe. So, our very first card. I love this one. Oh, I love this one. And it is so appropriate for Good Friday. It is sandalwood. And sandalwood smells wonderful. I love, absolutely love the soil. And it's about, this card is for spirituality and faith. So tell me that isn't appropriate for Good Friday. Um, so let's talk a minute about this card. And there's, doTERRA actually has two sandalwoods. One is um, from India and one is from Hawaii. And the only difference is really where they come from. They both have the same intention around the Oracle card. And it really just kind of comes down to preference. Um, what appeals to you slightly more than the other. So, but they're both wonderful oils. And if you don't know how to get doTERRA, you just reach out to me because I will help you do it. And this is an oil definitely to have in there um, for, for various reasons. Um, so Indian sandalwood, again, it's a little more spicy. Whereas the Hawaiian one, I feel like it's got just a little bit softer difference to it. So both wonderful to diffuse. They support sleep. They support calmness. Oh, they just smell good. <laughs> All right. So this oil, obviously it's very precious and it's actually considered a national treasure in India and really protected in Hawaii even. And, um, you know, it's heavily regulated because we want to make sure that we have these trees for a very, very long time. So it's a deep and spiritual oil. Um, it's used in a lot of religions, um, during prayer, enhancing meditation, that sort of thing. And of course, all of this means it's connected to that crown chakra, right? Right there. Um, and it reminds us that we are never alone. There's always higher forces in, in work for us and along our journey of life. Okay. Sandalwood um, helps us kind of overcome that loss of direction we may feel in life. Forgetting what's important, focusing on our problems instead of our blessings. And this oil really helps us to find that connection to that higher power. Looking on the bright side and reflecting that from our inside out. Okay, so pretty important oil. Now, the older we get, uh, the more likely we are to resonate with sandalwood. And that is because as we get older, um, things weigh heavier on us or we see more problems than we see dreams. And this, like the sandalwood tree, it helps us um, become more wise and to use things to our good and be able to control our feelings to help support our continued growth even as we age, become more beautiful as we age. You can think of it that way. Isn't that great? I'm telling you, this is a good oil. So, um, this card talks about people, guardians, you know, angels, that sort of thing, helping us. And spirituality is obviously where a lot of that resonates with. And helping us see ourselves um, as our natural self. And a lot of people might say, you know, your naked self, um, who you really are, and, and helping us accept that reality and, and grow from it. So this card means that we've kind of lost a little bit of faith and need to reestablish that connection with our divine and realize that they are always there holding our hand. Okay, not doing it alone ever, ever, ever. 
and maybe have lost a little bit of our inspiration and need some help regaining that, okay? Oh, just open this bottle and smell it. Just smell it. And this is your affirmation. I am connected to the divine. I am one with all, and it is easy for me to see the truth. Isn't that great? It's beautiful. It's a great card for first one. Okay, what we need next week. This is another great one. Now, okay, it's a good one. A lot of people love it. I'm not so much of a fan of it, but it's a really powerful oil. The Nuka. And this is the card of rescue and confrontation. Okay. Now, again, I, I just really don't care for the smell of it. But again, it's a pretty important oil when you think of emotional and physical health. Um, this is a powerful kind of anti-inflammatory oil. And antiviral, it does a lot of good things with skin. Um, and it's kind of in that melaleuca tea tree kind of family where it's kind of that um, disinfecting type oil, right? So, and it has obviously emotional, physical, and, and mental, so um, spiritual support to it. So, um, again, it comes from New Zealand and, or it originates in New Zealand. It's been around for hundreds and hundreds of years. Um, the higher the altitude of the plant, the more powerful it is. So that's pretty cool. And it, it's obviously really, it makes it really resilient. Okay. So you can see where this reading is already headed. So this kind of helps you fight for what you want more than any other essence, okay? So this is your inner, your inner courage to pursue what you want and help you have that peace of mind about it and trusting the process, even if it takes a little bit longer than you thought it would and coping with some of the things that may trip you up along the way. And, you know, it's giving you that shelter to hide your sensitive side when you got to be tough, which we all have that, right? Everyone comes across that kind of stuff every now and again. Um, this is all associated with our heart chakra. So it's protecting our heart and giving us that courage that you need to stem and move forward from your heart. So this is for when we are maybe feeling a little run down, uh, tired, need that little extra boost or that hand from someone um, that we truly trust and with no strings attached, right? And helping us get up again when we've fallen. So this means that we are maybe in a place where we need to allow someone else to help us and let them carry us for a while even. Um, give ourselves an opportunity to be feel supported um, and let someone else have that charge uh, for a minute, right? Let them drive. <laughs> Um, sometimes just letting someone else drive is enough, right? <laughs> um, but realize we can't do everything on our own. No matter how much we want to, sometimes we can't. And it's very acceptable to admit that. Um, and, and we are all here to help one another. Okay. So, Manuka. Um, this, with this oil, your affirmation is, I can be powerful and ask for help at the same time. Okay, and that's our oil for next week. So get you some Manuka and, and travel through. Okay, from the universe. This is a good one. I love this one. Wild orange. And of course, it's about spontaneity and opportunities, abundance, um, fun, even. Really great one. Nice, easy oil to work with. So um, this is, you know, very energizing, uplifting, positive. All your citrus oils are going to be like that. And everyone loves to be around wild orange because it's just a great oil, right? It smells good. And it's, it's welcoming. Um, it's positive. It's dynamic. Um, and it's contagious, right? In a good way. And of course, this is related to our solar plexus. Um, and it's related to our self-esteem, assurance, and confidence. And um, it inspires creativity, pleasure, and balance because you don't want to go all the way crazy having too much fun. You still got to be a little bit responsible kind of thing. Um, of course, this is supposed to represent Ganesh, the Indian god um, who opens doors for opportunities, brings abundance, um, and, and helps us with money and material things and putting things in perspective. 
and encourages innovation and freedom. Okay. Now he kind of helps us again not be too outrageous to know our limits and but still struggle maybe not to be spontaneous enough. Um, prevent things from being rigid, dull, and repetitive, right? And, you know, helping us realize that sometimes you need a break from your working too much and being overproductive and not really making the gains that you think you have. Sometimes you got to take a break, have a little bit of fun, and then come back to something. Give yourself a little recess. <laughs> um, and, and knowing when to stop, right? But not being, never coming back to it because you're out there having too much fun. So what this means is that we need to open ourselves up to opportunities coming to us from the universe. They're trying to come to us as gifts. Just got to be open to receiving them. Um, letting a little spontaneity in our life because that keeps you young. And don't take things too seriously. Um, practice a little humor and generosity along the way. Now, affirmation. Love this one. I have unlimited choices and opportunities are everywhere. So that is it for our Easter weekend reading and um, for next week as well. So I wish you all a very happy Easter. I hope you get lots of chocolate and yummy things from the Easter Bunny. As always, if you have questions, you reach out to me at dragonspitapothecary.com. There's a contact me button out there. Happy to help you live as naturally as, as you want in this life and find the right answers for you. So until next time. Mwah!